Hello everyone, welcome back to another review on the channel. Today, we will be taking a look at Wingo. So, let's get on to the review of the packaging. As you can see, there is this nice card on, on the Blue Desert, which hopefully this should be the last call I review on Blue Desert, unless, of course, if I get some new ones, but for now, Wingo is the last Blue Desert call I will be reviewing for this foreseeable future. Use the name tag, the diecast itself, the word for the name tag, three plus Mattel, the 2019 slash 2020 cards logo. He is a part of the Tuner series, a very nice series in my opinion, although it only contains the four tuners. That being Boost, DJ, Wingo, and Snarbot, all of which you can see on the back of the packaging. Very nice. And the description reads, This mischievous gang has no concerns for the speed limit or regard for other cars on the road. And then we can see the whole squad up there, with Boost the leader leading the way, with DJ Snarrot and Wingo following him. And that's pretty cool, I actually do have DJ here, and I did review him in July, so I'll leave the link to him in the description below, or you can check him up on my channel if you'd like. It was a very nice review, I actually have two of DJ, and... I'm very proud to say that he's one of the many cars that I like. I still need to get Start Rod and Boost though. Hopefully I'll get those soon. And so yeah, that's about it for the packaging. Before I open him up, I do want to say that this was one of my Christmas gifts for cars that I got. The others being Donico Lightning McQueen from China. Intro and Mon from the Radiant Springs Classics line. And last but not least, let me get her out. Lizzie from the new Welcome to Radiator Space series. So yes, I will be reviewing all those three cars very soon. I just thought I'd do Wingo first because, I mean, everybody loves the tuners and they seem to be pretty popular among the cars fans. So that's about it and I'll be right back with Wingo all opened up. Alright, so here is Wingo out of the package, and he's actually looking pretty darn nice, especially coming from Thailand. So, I mean, I'm not really going to add any images from the movie because the back of the package pretty much shows Wingo along with all the other tuners appearing. They appear on the highway where Mac was falling asleep and they decided to play around with him. But as a result of that, like, that actually caused McQueen to come out of Mac's trailer and get lost and separated from Mac and ended up in Radiator, Radiator Spring. So... Actually, the tuners were probably the good guys in the movie because if they had not been on the same highway, McQueen would have never met the townies and he probably would still be the cocky racer instead of this nice, genuine race car. Now, for his releases, Winko has been released quite a lot. He was actually one of the first desert cars to be released as part of the 2006 Desert Line. And then he's been released a lot ever since 2006, 2007, 2008, 2009, and 10 as Lenticulous, I believe. Uh, 2013 in the Radiator Springs Classic line, 2014 with the Flames, and 2015, I believe, with the Flames, or I could be wrong, but yeah, it's been released pretty much every year, except for 2017 to 2019. All the dudes took a break for those years, but it's so nice to finally see them back in 2020. So, that's about it for the, re the appearance and releases of Wingo. Oh yeah, by the way, he does have a Flame release, and I believe an Impound release, but... I don't have those two, so we're just going to be using reviewing the number one, which we'll be doing right now. So as you can see, there is this nice expression. He's looking very, very determined. You can see the side, two side view mirrors all actually connected to each other. The bottom and the top one are connected. We have the headlights and the nice purple flames that come that in the front of his mouth. And they start from the hood, but then they get pretty much cut off like under his eyes. And we can see those two little splitter things, which I actually, when I first saw him, I was like, oh my god, did I chip him? Did he get chipped? But no, it's supposed to be like that. So that's pretty nice. I don't know what those are, but they look pretty cool. On the sides here, you can see his nice wheels, which all sucked in. 
which I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I like that or not. Actually, on the Pizza Cup races, I don't because that's not really how they're supposed to look. But for these Japanese imports, I mean, I can understand because, I mean, the Japanese imports they're not supposed to be made in America or made in Japan, obviously. So, anyways, moving moving on from that dark t topic, you can see his side splitters come out like a little bit too wide. So if you were to put him in like a hot wheels track, he's not going to fit because those side splitters kind of make him a little too wide. Wheels again. I love the Japanese character on the sides. And they go on, go up on the window, which I really, really, really love. We can see some of the red and yellowish flames in the background. I don't know. They're not really flames. But they're more like tattoos, honestly. You know, I'm just going to call them tattoos. This is a big tattoo and this is a big tattoo as well nothing on the roof his nice spoiler which i guess why he's this is why he's called wingo because of his gigantic wing <laughs> you see the tail the tailpipe on the back and on the back it says wingo and the lights the text above it reads let me see if i can read it off camera dipstick junior i think that's what it says although i can't i cannot read that at all Thailand. Kind of messed up that messed that up, but for the big text window, at least you can read that. You see the tail lights. There are his side. There's the other side, which is pretty much the same as the other side. And here is the base. And twenty eight A. So he was made in the twenty eight week of twenty twenty at the A factory. Disney Pixar made in Thailand. Code code code. So that's about it for Mister Wingo here. In my opinion, I do like him a lot, although. I'm still very upset that they didn't fix his spoiler to have the tattoos on the spoiler like they saw on the card art. If you can see on the card art, you can see that the tattoos or flames or whatever you want to call them, they actually go on the spoiler, like they're on the spoiler, but the diecast unfortunately does not have that. Now I believe China, when he was released in China, China didn't put those on either, so you can't really blame Thailand for that. And I'm very disappointed because Thailand usually fixes a lot of stuff that China makes mistakes. For example, they corrected Terry Cargas model, they added the, the bumper stickers on Cruising McQueen, they corrected Christopher Stopsky, they corrected Yellow Hydraulic Moon's color. So, yeah, I'm a little disappointed that they s skipped out a Wingo, but I mean, it's not a big deal. I mean, at least he looks cool. He looks cool. So, let's compare him to his fellow tutors. He was DJ. I mean, that's he's the only auto tutor I have besides Wingo, and they look pretty nice again. I will admit, they do look pretty nice. Pretty nice. I really like these two a lot. If only if I had Wingo, oh, I'm sorry, no, not Wingo. If only if I had Snotwad and Boost, I think that would have looked looked so amazing. But I'm glad with these two. I'll start off with these two for now. Maybe I can get the other two in the future. And yeah, that about does it for the review of Wingo. I know it's kind of short, but there's really not much to talk about him because I don't have any other variants to compare and I don't have all four tutors. I only have one other one. So, sorry for the short review. Hopefully you all enjoyed it still. And thank you all so much for watching. Remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more upcoming content. See you all next time. Until then, this is Coral Clutchin, signing out.